Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins. It's been a year since I last started a career in Juno New Origins and I've decided that instead of continuing my career, I will start a new one. And that's mainly because when I started the career last year, it was right when career mode got released and they have since done quite a few things to improve career mode, but I didn't actually take advantage of those things that they did to improve career mode. As a result, I amassed quite a lot of money early on and it didn't quite click for me because I took advantage of it being a little bit less balanced perhaps as far as the uh, contract system was concerned and the contract system changed while I was playing it and so I wanted to do a fresh start and see what it's like when when you're actually playing it properly. Uh, I've also installed Parallax which is a major mod that had been for Kerbal Space Program and now is available for Juno New Origins as well and hopefully that works. It's installed in a interesting location. I wish it was just installed in the main game folder, but it's uh, some place in C drive or something like that. Anyway, uh, but in theory, I have that. Uh, I tried actually to install the mod tools for Juno New Origins with Unity. And even though I used the right version of Unity, that didn't quite work out. So I can't figure out how to get my mods into Juno New Origins. So that would be a whole other thing. And so that's hampered some of my potential sandbox mode exploration because I like having the parts that I've very meticulously made in Blender available to me. And yeah, basically when I try to import the mod tool package, uh, when I say import the little parts, it reads the package and then I say import, it crashes Unity. And I've tried it with the version that the part tools recommend and the patch notes also recommended. Uh, I tried it with two other versions of Unity just in case, and no luck. Uh, with the other two versions of Unity, it just gives error messages. It doesn't actually crash Unity. Uh, so I have tried to get into modding uh, Genome New Origins. I haven't been very successful at it, apparently. I mean, clearly. So we'll see about that. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, to be fair, I've also had uh, problems with the KSP part tools from time to time. It's not, uh, Unity is very finicky about things sometimes, but it was a clean install of Unity. The only thing is that I do install Unity on a different drive than the default location, so that might be a thing. Alright, so all that being said, I am going to start a new game. I thought about starting a uh, save in a real solar system thing. There is a real solar system available because they have Planet Studio and I could do it in a real solar system, but I decided that I would oops, I would uh, see what the career mode is like in the stock game first because I don't know if this, uh, the career mode is balanced for real solar the real solar system planets. Uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, that'll be another thing. I'll treat that as a separate thing. So, new game, uh, company name, Raise Aerospace. So, completely fresh. Hopefully I remember something about the game, but there's no guarantees. It's been a while. Um, so, alright. We're going to do it like that. Uh, career mode, default. Oh, I don't know what the hybrid is. Oh, neat tools from sandbox mode. Mm, I don't know. We'll just say default. I don't know what neat tools. I don't know what neat tools there are. But, okay. Okay. So, uh, here's Mr. Fizzlebottom. Recently inherited the research company with technology patents, and uh, we can unlock those. Yeah, I think we can close that. Okay, so we have the tech tree, and I don't know if anything has changed from before, but probably the rate of progress that I make through it will be different. Oh, uh, check the tech tree and see if there's... Okay, so we have to unlock the, the Drudman side thing, probably. Okay, and common ground, let's unlock that, that unlocks a camera, and we have a 10 tech points to start off with, so we could get contracts as an RC enthusiast or as a background scientist. Well, you know what, last time I did the, I went up this way because I'm a rocket person, I couldn't care less about ground vehicles, but I don't like two dimensions, so I like three dimensions. But yeah, let's let's do things differently this time, and I'll try and go this route and see what happens. All right, this might be my undoing because I'm not good at ground vehicles. Uh, I'm not a rover person at all. 
So, but, you know, I needed more struggle compared to last time anyway. Okay, you have a new customer. Okay, sorry, I'm not gonna read everything because I've read some of it before and I'm just down to business here. Okay, uh, so launch new it, new craft. I was about to say aircraft. Launch from the village runway, roll down to the end of the runway. I wonder how this whole, the village runway thing works with the real solar system. It must be located somewhere. Get at least 150 meters away before you touch the ground. Okay, this is a tutorial. Okay, let's just do the tutorial, fine. Okay, moves horizontally. You'll need to change the command disk. Okay, part properties button, rocket, plane. Okay, increase the driving range to change the volume. I'm pretty sure I actually did this tutorial last time. For the same reason, I'm not good at ground vehicles. 25%? Uh, okay. Alright, well, fine, we'll close it. Alright. Um, empty fuel tank. Right click and drag to make the rear wheel. Okay, symmetry tool. And it's already automatically selected that for me. Alright. Make the front wheels turnable and reduce the engine torque to save money. Okay. Uh, Alright, turning angle none. So, turning angle 20. Change the torque to zero. So it's rear wheel drive. I I'm not too sure I want rear wheel drive, but okay. Definitely all wheel drive is better. Gear ratio to one to maximize for top speed. Motor input to use pitch instead of throttle. You've never seen a better car? I'm sorry, but I've seen a better car. <laughs> anyway, so launch. Village runway. Launch. Okay, press and hold Q to increase... No, to decrease roll to negative 100%. Okay, increase. Okay, as expected, roll did nothing. Yaw. Okay. Left shift to throttle up. Okay. Uh, well, oh, you want left shift. Sorry. Sometimes you may put... Find the input of the wheels set to th throttle. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, so pitch. Guess now fall. All right. The music still needs some work, I think. Can I get to the end of the runway without going out of control? Let's find out. Land speed record 28 meters per second! YOLO! That should take care of it, yeah. Eek! Ah. We might get a distance record too, so we have to see where it ends up. As long as the probe core has survived, you know. It come to, came to a dead stop there, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Okay, well, we'll cover that. Yeah, sure. Okay, next. Fast roller. That was a fast roller. Just not in the direction that you normally think of. That's only 13.9. We've done that before already. Let's see if we can do taxi driver as well. Oh, this is checkpoints. Hmm, checkpoints can be difficult. Depends on where the checkpoints are. It's only 428 meters, but it could be weird. I remember, this is the one in town. That can, yeah, that's tough, but we'll see. We might as well try it. Uh, let's just go with this. Land speed record. Right. Um, maybe we shouldn't go down the runway. It might be tough to stop. But... 
Yeah, we might as well get what help from gravity we can. But the first place is the maintenance thing. Well, we'll see whether we can go up the slope later. Okay, okay, uh, okay, this way, yes. Okay, so we did fast roller. Up, up, up. We got some tech points. Uh, see, distance traveled matters. I don't have enough traction to go up. No, please. Now we need a rocket car. Oh no, it's going backwards. It's going backwards. Throttle up. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we'll have to do something else for the taxi driver. Cover. Recover before it ends up at the bottom of the... ...of the runway. Okay, so... Why don't we change this so that we have more traction just in case we end up in a bad location on this strip. So, um, the rear wheels... Let's, uh... Rescale by the gear ratio. Retro street tires. Oh, we've only unlocked street tires though. Okay. Well, anyway, let's try out the tour with this particular car. Okay, so that's the start checkpoint. Ooh, pretty nimble. Okay, there was a ramp around here somewhere. There it is. Must be cautious. Whoa, it goes fast down the ramp. Okay, I'm just going to slow down first. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how you start your rocket career. <laughs> we are going down there. First time I tried this in the other career, uh, things went horribly wrong. Something was wrong. Maybe it was my control system getting in the way. That's supposed to be a fountain. I shouldn't put a fountain unless they've got like water physics going. Could put a statue or something. Statue to Druid the Great. We need some legendary druids or something. Okay, okay. The camera's finding this a tight spot. <laughs> Okay, Juno statue. That was an interesting one. Okay, three point turn. Ow! <laughs> okay, not too fast, not too fast. Ow, ow, ow! See what you did? There is a statue here of apparently Juno. Okay. In flight, I suppose. Cover craft. All right, so, well, I mean, we've got some tech points. Let's do, let, let's, let's go back and do space things instead. Uh, bird wannabe, I guess, well, hmm. We can get backyard scientists and get bird wannabe. Got 15,000. So, this is a progression mission. Camera. Get to the top of the peak. Remember that. Um, but where's the flight one? Get car and drive it for. I guess we're not getting flight yet. Well, maybe you have to do this progression mission first. So let's just knock that out. Okay. Hopefully we've got traction now, but we'll see. Okay, we have a camera. Taunting us with space shuttles. Okay, so, Juno Peak is over there. Well, I should have picked up the other ones just in case I break the records or whatever. Shoot. Oh no, yeah, I don't have the traction. I don't think. Yeah, no. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, 
So we need radically different things. But yeah, we might as well just accept five kilometers will be fine, and we'll probably accidentally do that at some point. But um, how was I supposed to improve? First of all, four-wheel drive is better. Let's see, top speed. Yeah, we don't, uh, well, we have to... Let's allow the top speed to get to, but we could always go on downslope, but yeah, let's allow for some better top speed. Off-road friction. That doesn't say a whole lot about the traction. Okay, well, we'll just try all-wheel drive and see if that's good enough. Available funds, 20,000. Price, 8,000. So this is pretty tight right now. So we better recover it. <laughs> nah, I'm not going in the direction that we're going to go fast in anyway. Whoa, okay, that was dangerous. Let's not do that. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Mm. Oh, this... They don't work upside down? I guess there's not enough... Oh, the camera! Gosh darn it. Without the camera, it would be just fine. Hmm. Okay technical flaw there uh yeah oh so the rear wheels should have worked anyway okay let's uh let's go back to the drawing board here let's just do the faster one first go faster seems like an easier call than getting up the hill so Hey, we, b we can't jump over here, otherwise we're gonna not stay grounded. Oh, we jumped. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta run out of runway. The four wheels, does it have enough juice to go up this? No, it doesn't really help. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll have to make laps or something. This might not be the best car for this deal. Let me just sort of move the camera so it's not in the way of things. And also, maybe we should... Well, I mean, it should have clear, but if it gets caught on something, it'll be tough. Sort of leaner and meaner. We don't have anything in the tank, actually. Let me just stay here and wait the 10 seconds. Um, it's definitely not the best location to do a speed run. Oh, we hopped. Okay, we're probably gonna have to go down the runway. Uh, it really doesn't count that as grounded, huh? Please, five seconds. Okay, just barely. Uh, I want to save it. Recover craft. No, don't destroy it. Moving too fast. Uh, oh, oh, I can see it. I can see it. Oh, okay, now you can recover it. Gotta watch our money around here. Okay, please, um, I need plain things, um, hold on, refresh contracts, like a bird, well, okay, at least there's that, but I swore, didn't we get the rocket stuff? Backyard scientist, can we get some new contracts for that? That involve this goblin solid motor kind of thing? Hmm. That's strange. Okay, but I'll take planes. That pays better anyway. Car from the jump tutorial. Okay, yes, we're adding wings. Add a control surface. Here. Ah, no, my wheel. No, put it back. Oh gosh, why why won't it go? And this is not the car from the tutorial because we didn't have those struts there. 
Now using the pitch input, you'll need to change the motor input for the wheels to use throttle. Center of mass and center of lift. Yes, slightly in front. Okay. Mm, the right butters would be confused, but it's okay. All right, so. Uh, now, it doesn't seem like those are in symmetry, though, which troubles me. Yeah. Let's make this a little bit easier to take off with. Okay, that undo works, but works too well. It undid too many things. Okay, well, that looks marginally better. Um, let's tweak a few other things. I don't really want the control surface to be... I like it, I think, yeah, that to be the whole thing. Okay, I'm not I'm not liking this at all. Uh, well, once we put an engine in the back, it'll be okay because it'll now drag the center of mass further back. It occurred to me that I might want to do a plane design tutorial again because a lot of people seem to ask why I put the wheels up front instead of on the tail because they're so afraid of scraping the tail. Uh, that's not usually the main concern. That's just a matter of not tilting up too much. Okay, well, all right. We'll see how this flies. 5,000, huh? It's cheaper than the car. Maybe I should have brought a camera. I guess we can go to the peak with this. Can't we? Maybe? Well, I mean, we probably need an engine. In the jump tutorial, we told you to use the pitch for the wheels, but now the pitch controls the wings. So let's figure out the new controls. Look at the wing while using pitch and roll. Let me see if my joystick still works. Yeah. But the rudder is weird. Hold on. Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Oh no, we're going too fast. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, the rudder control is a little bit too strong and it's. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Very little throttle. Very little throttle. Oh! Okay, like, I can't go back like this, though, can I? I'm stuck. Up. Okay, I'll get to the runway edge eventually. <laughs> I should have turned off the wheel control. That's part of the problem. The front wheel turning, but that can be helpful, too. We just need to get to the runway edge, that's fine. We don't even need to fly, per se. Okay, go all the way. Oh, no! Don't kill the wheels! What? Um, they don't waste battery and engage the iPod. The iPod will... Okay, I can just throttle down, it's fine, but... Um, I don't want to use that. I hate using that. Oh, what are you even trying to show me? Lock. Okay. But I hate tracking on this circle. It is not not what I want to do. Oh, whatever. See, I mean, it's not like it's gonna make it anyway. Oh, doesn't have enough speed to go like that. We've exceeded Mach point one though. Okay, yeah, and I especially hate seeing all that there. Lock is fine. You can have basically the equivalent of SAS like that, but... Oh, oh, okay. Rough, 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 rough. Okay, brakes. I can't brake, actually. A B. Oh, okay, okay, that was rough. Alright, stop. Okay. Uh, I'm good. Uh, why, why didn't it... Oh. What? I have negative time left? What does that mean? Overcraft. Hmm. Okay, what were the criteria there? Through all checkpoints in under 20 seconds. Okay, maybe I took too long. Uh, let's make some tweaks. <laughs> 